What is going on everybody? Today we are getting out in the old kayak right here behind me. I'm very excited. We're actually going down to a river. We're going to be putting into the river. Half the river is really muddy, but there is this little creek off to the side that is not super muddy. We're gonna probably be flipping a jig all day, maybe some other soft plastics. We'll have to see. Should be a good day. Let's go ahead and get out there, see if we can catch anything out on the river. All right, we are now in this little creek. I say it's little, it's not really little. It's just smaller compared to the main river. The water clarity actually is not bad here. I mean, it's really not that bad. So we're going to just fish some of these laydowns and stuff. I used to do this growing up a lot. I actually haven't come out here in a long time. I used to take the John boat out here, not even a jig, just the John boat. I mean, not the kayak. Sheesh, what am I saying? I used to take a John boat out here, not a kayak. Felt like the first fish right there. Might have been in a tree branch. That, that was kind of hard to tell. It's, it's really hard to tell out here. There's a lot of brush. You can't really tell right here where I'm sitting at because there's not, not a ton of stuff, but trust me, there is stuff all over the bottom. You'll see some of these trees are just big, nasty trees. But if you flip a jig in there, there's a tendency that there's a bass in there that's going to eat it. And usually they're pretty good ones in here. I mean, they're all usually two plus nice, healthy fish. So keep getting some dang pollen on my jig. That's pretty good cast. I also brought the clout today, a little secret weapon. I haven't ever thrown that out here. I already know right now that it will work. I can probably take that thing and just skip it on up there. Give me one. But I really want to catch one on the jig. Out here it's kind of weird because you just kind of fish everything. Because there's no really good spots except for rock. Because everything else washes out. I mean you can fish a tree for two or three months. We have a big windstorm, rainstorm. Next thing you know that tree's gone completely wiped out and that happens a pretty good amount i mean we get some pretty big rainstorms and then all the trees are just gone i also brought a buzz bait with me today i'm really hoping i can catch some on the buzz bait usually you get a buzz bait bite and it's all big girl but I have not thrown a buzz bait out here yet this year. I know they'll eat it. I catch them in different parts of the river on it, but never thrown it out here. I don't believe. Got him. Oh, it's not a bass. Oh, it is a bass. It's just a little baby. It's a little baby. I didn't think it was a bass. See, this is why I was going to throw the jig, too, because usually ones this size are not going to eat the old jig. Stop it, Jim Bob. Golly. He's so slippery. Very, very slippery bass. And I can't freaking grab him by the mouth because he's hooked in the bottom lip. Oh, my gosh, Jim Bob. I give up on you little Jim Bob. Dad gum it Jimmy. Now I'm getting washed up on the bank. Freaking Jimbo. Jimbo if you don't stop it right now. Now he's peeing all over me. Dad gum it. That means he's a male. He's literally peeing all in my freaking kayak dude. Stop peeing in my kayak. We're gonna go ahead and get this little pisser back. Look at how big that sucker is. Holy cow. This is comparison to my hand. Giant. No, he's definitely not a giant. First fish though, at least we got the skunk gone. Now we gotta get off this freaking bank. Ugh. Okay, that fish was so slippery. It's like a catfish, like a catfish bass edition. Freaking weird. That's like my second cast with this clout too. That's like, that's crazy. Might be a sign. It might be a sign. We'll just have to see. He freaking nailed that thing, I know that. I could feel him just a little tink, 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 tink. I was like, uh-oh. Now we just need a bigger one. 
That sucker is too small for me. Need big girl. That's what we need, old big girl. I haven't caught a small one like that out of here in freaking forever. That was a little dink of rooster. Now you can see what I was talking about by some nasty wood. These are some freaking huge laydowns. I mean, they're huge. I'm, I'm sitting on top of a tree right now with my boat. This is a buzzbait spot right here too. This is 100% a buzzbait spot and a jig spot. Break out the old buzzer. Hey gummit, we're drifting. Stop it, Jim Bob. Now my buzzbait's not even loud. We need some clacking motion, dude. The dumb wind is drifting me now. That's what we like. Big go. <laughs> Eruption. It would be nice. Here comes the wind. I'm probably gonna get trapped out here in the dang storm. I've done that before. Not fun. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. Would not. Oh, I don't know what that noise was, but I do not like. It like squeals when I cast it. Definitely needs to be cleaned. 100%. Oh, I just have one, that gummit, dude. I swear I just have one. Crap, crap, dang it. I like picked up and I could feel the weight on it and then it dropped it when I pulled. Well, this is where I normally take my kayak in, right here, as you can see in front of me. But there's actually a huge tree that fell. And now I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be able to get in here or not this way. I just really don't wanna walk through the grass because I'm wearing shorts and flops. So I don't really know what the heck we're gonna do, but a lot of the times the bass will spawn in this little cut in here. And I think the bass are actually spawning right now. It's hard to be able to tell. Okay, that's fine, wind. Holy crap. Yeah, it's getting a little windy now. We are uh, in the freaking jungle right now, buddy. I'm gonna tell you right now. Honestly, it, it kind of seems like I can get my kayak in here too. If I can just get it pushed in through that little freaking hole right there. Oh, it's clear back here too. It's clear back here. We're gonna have to little, do a little bit of uh, finessing right here. Without falling in. Hopefully, that's, that's the ideal ideal thing is to not fall in oh 
Oh, that's cold. Ain't gonna lie to you. That's real freaking cold. Heck yeah, brother. Boat of five kayaks, baby. All right. I got mud in my toes, man. Got mud in my toes. I'm gonna do a little, little walk through. See if I can see anything. Haven't been in here in a hot minute. It's semi clear in here. Could be stacked with fish or could have nothing. I don't really know. As of right now, I'm not seeing too much action. That's a bed. No fish on it though. But that's a bed. It's actually low key kind of deep in here, up on this end. I've never been up this far, but this is actually actually kind of kind of deep. I don't know. I think we're gonna actually pull pull the kayak in all the way. I'm gonna do a little walk down. I'm gonna throw a little fluke and a little popper or something like that. I'm gonna see if I can catch anything from this bank right here. If I can, that's a definite good sign. But we still might take the kayak all the way down and just test it out and see. All right, I was gonna take a popper and a fluke, but I decided to just take the fluke if I catch one on this, then I can probably use the popper, but I just know with this front coming in right now that the fish may be a little bit lethargic. We also just had a full moon. Um, so they could be hard to catch. I mean, it's, I don't know. I just feel like this right here should catch them a little bit better than that popper just because it's kind of a a finesse bait you know just a nice subtle glide instead of a big pop i think there's bass in here a hundred percent we're just gonna have to get them to eat a little pipe right there if i catch one right there that's just perfect that's just textbook right there i got one I'm not even playing that's textbook. Oh my gosh. No. How did he come off? Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Really? It was a baby. I mean, it, it really was. It was a baby, but it still counts. Daggum. There's a freaking pipe right here. And, like, it's not even draining water. Like, it's dripping. Like, it's just a drip, drip, drip. Like, <laughs> no big drainage at all. What the freak is wrong with this stupid rod? Oh my gosh. Look at this. Somehow it's not through the end of the rod. There's probably one reason why that fish came off. If I was a betting man, I would say so. Probably one reason why. So we're going to have to cut this hook off, run the line through here. <laughs> I feel like a freaking idiot now. It's not even through the freaking last... Ah. Oh man, whatever. Well, we know there's uh, know there's fish in here in this little backwater creek, which is a really cool spot, by the way. This is actually a very beautiful little area. I personally have never caught one back here. I still personally have never caught one because uh, some gun just came off. He's decided he did not want to get caught today. And uh, he, he came off. He was bigger than the last one, though. Biggest one of the day. Nothing to brag about, but still would have been biggest one of the day. If there's ones like that in here, though, tell me there can't be a big one, especially down here in this deeper water. I mean, I really feel like there could be, you know? Maybe that's the ticket. Gotta find dripping pipes. No, I'm just playing. Definitely not the ticket today. And if it is, we're screwed, because I think that's the only dripping pipe. There should be one right here too. It's a good spot. I got some roots right there. 
Looks like a really good spot. All right, we got the kayak out here now. I finally got it floating again. I don't know. It's going to be hard to not spook these fish. Depending on where they are. This is the last thing I want is to spook them. There's a dang beaver dam, dude. I ain't even playing. There's a legit beaver dam right there. At least that's what it looks like to me. Looks like a freaking beaver dam. Oh, one's got it. He just hasn't ate it all the way. Bro, I could see him. I saw him eat it. I, I didn't think he even had it in his mouth anymore. Golly, there's another small one. I should have just let him keep taking it. That was my fault. I screwed up. Could have all been prevented, though, if he would have just been aggressive. Just ate it all the way. But I guess old Jim Bob just didn't want to be that way today. He said, mm-mm. Not today, man. Not today. Oh, it's a tree. A tree that fell down. And then it looks like a beaver came in after the fact. And tried to build a dam. It's like an old abandoned building. I think this is like part of the mill. Something like that. Here goes a bass. I just watched one. He just swam out from right here. Little one. Again. Still a bass. All right. We've got the boat floating again in the main river. Now I just have to get in. And that's going to be a little bit easier said than done. Oh gosh, that got deep real quick, boy. I was standing on the root and the root just broke. And I just went all the way up to the edge of my shorts. Like no joke. Okay, there we go. We're in. We're in, boys. We're in. I'm not gonna get through. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. This is a freaking struggle right here. I don't really know if that was worth it or not. Yeah, this is the spot up here. Looks like it's a little bit covered up as well. I haven't been in this one. Big old rope. Look at that some gun right there. Big mama right there, buddy. At least this place I can actually just paddle right into. Check that out, that's not too bad. What the crap? Dang, this is kind of sweet. Hold on, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to stand up so I can see something. This is extremely shallow back here. There's hardly any water. I mean hardly any. I still think there could be a couple bass back here pushed up spawning. Definitely, but holy crap it's shallow. There's a little waterfall. That's really cool. See, this is deep enough up here for a fish. Take the little fluke and throw it in here. There could be a bass in here. Now, is there one? I don't know. But there could be. This is like an old dam or something. It's got a little gauge up on top. You can control how much water is coming out. And here comes the rain. Starting to starting to come down. I don't know if we'll be able to go try those other spots today or not. We'll have to see. Alright, it's coming down pretty good. We're going to go ahead and put the GoPro away. 
and start paddling all the way back. I don't want the GoPro to get too wet, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the GoPro up and I will catch you guys at the next spot. If not today, it'll be tomorrow. Woo, day two, we are out here at a different spot today. We're actually not in the kayak today. I figured I would go try a couple of these other small creek spots. So we're going to head over here to this little creek. Hopefully it's clear. I'm not sure if it's going to be or not. If it is, hopefully we can get on some spawning fish or maybe some post spawners. I don't really know. We're gonna to to see what the fish are doing. Had a big cold front move in last night, which is definitely why those fish yesterday were acting weird. But hopefully today they're wanting to bite better. Let's see if we can get us a big old girl. All right, so we may have lucked out. You guys can see right there, that is a bass. That little blob right there next to the log, that is a bass. The water is not super, super clear like I was hoping, but there is some visibility and there is fish in here because that right there is like a three to four pounder. That is a very good one. I don't know what the heck he's doing. He's just kind of chilling right there. But uh, if there's one fish right there, there should be more. I'm hoping the farther down we go in this little creek, it should get clearer and we should be able to see. Maybe they're on bed. I don't know. The moon stage is very, very weird right now. We just had a full moon. So I'm thinking some of them might be on bed. We'll just have to see what the fish are doing today. We'll see what we can find. All right, guys. So we do have like a three or four pounder right here, just like I showed you. But I don't think I'm going to go for that fish yet. We're going to go ahead and go down see if we can find anything else that fish is just sitting in the same spot but it's up in the water column not on the bottom so i don't know if it has a bed or not i've actually caught one out of that tree before that was bedding inside the tree that could be what that one is doing but i'm not sure we're gonna see if we can find any more if we can't find any more we'll go ahead and come back to this one but i've got a feeling that fish is gonna be hard to catch it's a good one but it's gonna be hard to catch all right so i just walked all the way down through all this nasty grass that you can see I'm walking through. I probably have poison ivy all over my legs. They're actually itching right now. But uh, that's because I'm wearing shorts. We're gonna have to go to a different spot after we catch this fish because there's actually no bass in this creek yet. And it is crystal clear. And I've seen a couple old beds. And I actually caught some on bed here a couple weeks ago. But it's actually like 50 degrees right now, 60 degrees outside. So we did have a big cold front come through, which probably delayed those fish. But this week it is going to get up to 70 degrees for a couple of days. So those fish should push in here. All right, I found a bluegrass magic one already rigged up. So I'm just gonna try it first. I can see decent. So we'll see. I mean, they'll probably eat this quicker than they will a wide anyways, because this is more natural for this body of water. They feed on bluegill in here, not shad. So I'm just going to swim it right near that fish. They paid a little bit of attention to it. It kind of swam off, but then it like came back right away. So it's almost like it is on a bed. I don't know if it's a five pounder, but it's a three at least. I think it's a four at least. I can't see anything though. <laughs> There's a huge log right in the way. Homegirl's swimming right up towards it though. I'll tell you what, if we hook her, it is going to be one heck of a fight getting that fish over here. Cause I'm gonna have to jerk it over the log and then flip it up this freaking cliff right here. It's just gonna be it's gonna be very interesting. That's for sure. Let's try a little shaky head. I mean it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. Put a little green stroker crawl on there. I think I got some green pumpkin burst. One of these right here. And one of these right here. Not that many people do it, but I'm telling you, a crawl on a shaky head can be killer on the bed. Or whatever this fish is doing, not on the bed. It's still going to be killer. You just put it on there just like you would for a worm. It does the same thing. You see it right there? Perfectly rigged up on the little shaker.
right on the face. I almost feel like this one might be spawning in this other part of the tree. See, last time I caught one down here, it was actually, it was literally spawning like in the tree, like no joke, literally spawning in the tree. And this one is hanging on the tree like it's spawning in the tree, but I haven't seen it sit still in one single spot, which is weird. It just moves around all the time. Yeah, she's paying attention. Oh yeah, she's coming in for it. Eat it, please. Eat it, please. Got her. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that just happened. Oh my gosh, this is a giant one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> I knew I could get that fish oh my gosh I thought it was bigger than this oh <laughs> spawning in the tree again literally spawning in the tree that is so weird I don't know why they do that here that's the second one I've caught this fish would not eat the bait anywhere except inside of the tree and that's where she ate it oh my gosh that's insane all right, let's go get a weight on her. Not a five pounder like I thought, not a four pounder like I thought, and probably not a three pounder. Just about a two pounder. It's just so hard to judge, guys, because I'm actually 10 feet up. I don't know how well you can see. I'm 10 feet up at least above the water, and that's probably about 20 yards to that spot. So the fish, it's kind of hard to judge how big they are whenever you're far away from them. This is saying it's a three pounder. So I was right, three pounds, 302 is what she's reading. Nice, healthy fish, very healthy. A little bit sandy because I had to boat flip her up here, but that's just what you have to do at this spot. Awesome fish though. Oh gosh, better than yesterday, that's for sure. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get her back. The bad thing about this spot is you do have to drop them, but I'm just gonna gently just kind of drop her right there. That sounded really loud, but I promise the fish is okay. I've caught plenty of fish here and they do swim off. She's gone. She's already going to go back over there to that spot where she was at. Nice three pounder. I said it was at least a three, so I was correct. I thought it was bigger. When I hooked it and she rolled over that log when I hooked her, <laughs> that was just like insane. That was so crazy. Whew. Man, that's a fun fish catch. That was almost as good as that fish catch I had the other day. I'm gonna flip that jig up in that tree. Had the stroker crawl on it too. And uh, that was a pretty crazy fish catch. That one came on the old shaky head. I got a feeling she probably would've hit the bluegrass magic swim bait as well. She was paying a lot of attention to it. But this thing's really sandy. Probably can't see it that well. But this is the green pumpkin burst stroker crawl on a six cents quarter ounce shaky head. And you don't have to go with the quarter ounce. You can go with three sixteenths, five sixteenths, whatever you like. But uh, this is where she fell to, ate it right there in that tree. If you guys want to go get this setup right here, go look down below in the description, and I've got it linked down below. If you use my code adub 10 you will get 10% off your order, and you can catch some fish like that one. Let's go ahead and get back out there, see if we can find any more. If we can't find any more here, we're probably just going to go ahead and move spots.